Today's Designing with Jessica segment goes on location to find out what's the most basic but most important part of interior design. The first thing you really need to do, and it's key, key so you don't make a mistake, is to do a floor plan. And you can take it with you, you can take your little piece of paper when you go to the store, and you won't make a mistake. You won't buy the wrong piece of furniture, the wrong size for the room that you have. What should anybody do first when they're planning out a room? Well, it depends. If, if you've got a blueprint of your home, that's great. You can put a piece of tracing paper over it and then draw the furniture in. Okay. If you don't have a blueprint of your home, you can just take general measurements of the room, get some graph paper, a big old Sharpie marker I like to use. So here we go, our graph paper. This is quarter inch. Yes. And this is each quarter inch actually stands for a foot. You want to try to do the floor plan in quarter inch because your templates are in quarter inch. Today we are working on your dining room. Yes. You've got a dining room that is what size? It is 13 feet by approximately 10 feet and it has a bay window in it. When you're driving up to the front of the house, you can see in that bay window. You can see if you place a piece of furniture in there, you're going to be able to see the back of it by using our template templates these are very cool why you've got some green you got some blue what's what's the difference here with these well these templates are made by ASID which stands for American Society of Interior Designers and they sell these templates through their organization in Washington DC these templates the green ones you can buy in any sort of craft store a blueprint store a store that sells art supplies so you're going to select a round table right one that would be the same size as what you already had right if you didn't have a table already right then it'd be one that you think would probably fit best in there in that room you would sketch it out and sometimes okay. you have to do a couple different layouts to see which one feels the best and works the best so this one is looking very good right but for somebody who may not know what's the best shape and size for a room like this trial and error you did a rectangular, a rectangular room. room I drew in the rectangular table and while it works it limits you because you cannot put in the side pieces yeah so you're 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 limited to putting something in the bay window a serving piece in the bay window and if you are forced to do that what you need to make sure is that the back of that serving piece is finished yeah so that when you're driving up the driveway you see a finished piece of furniture and not a, a false front so the rectangular table is acceptable right but just not the very very best for that room this particular room I prefer the round, there. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work on paper, it's not going to work in your room. Yeah. I can guarantee it. And joining me in studio is the professional herself, <laughs> Deborah Morka. Deborah has been voted, let me tell you this, voted best interior <laughs> designer for two years in a row by readers of Savannah Magazine. She designs interiors for both commercial and residential spaces worldwide but her headquarters are here in Savannah, so we appreciate you working with us. This is an honor. Well, thank you for having me, Jessica. It's really a pleasure to be here. Oh, well, you taught me something really big. When it comes to floor plans, there are those people out there who may want nothing to do with the actual sketching of a floor plan, mm -hmm. but they want them, but they also have this notion that it costs perhaps an exorbitant amount of money to hire an interior designer. Right, right. No, it doesn't, Jessica. A, a good professional interior designer, a lot of them work by the hour. So you can give them a call, you can tell them what your budget is, you can ask them what they charge by hour, and ask them if they'll do a good floor plan for you. And get you on the right foot. On the right foot, off to the right track. Oh, that's great. Well, I think, uh, you know, prior to chatting with you, um, I think a lot of people thought once you consult a, an interior designer, you're there from start to finish. There's no part of it that you can do yourself. And what you're telling us this morning, not true at all. No. I mean, it's a service, and they'll offer the service that you need in order to get the job done. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for this one. And I'm so excited about next time because designing with Jessica, <laughs> this looks like a mess right here, but these are just, I mean, this is like Delicious. nothing. Yeah, right? <laughs> Compared to how many fabrics she has to go through all the time, she has great knowledge on what fabrics are best for what uses. So that's our segment, segment the next time. Thanks, thank you. Deborah. All right. Time now for Jonathan.